You're about to discover how to create the life you dreamed of. Tap into the miracle working power of your subconscious mind to manifest anything you desire in life. Hello and welcome. I'm Don L. Price. Does it feel like life is a constant struggle? Are self-sabotaging negative thoughts ruining your chance for success? Are you almost always winning at losing weight, almost stop smoking, almost getting the promotion, almost overcoming your fears, and almost achieving your dreams? Are any of the above questions a reflection of your life? If so, imagine for a moment having that powerful, simple, secret weapon to solve all your problems right at your fingertips. But before I give you that powerful, secret weapon, you need to know the signs and symptoms of frustration, stress, and anxiety caused by your unfulfilled desires. Seeing only the negative. Moody, depression, hypersensitive, repetitive, erasing thoughts, poor judgment, inability to concentrate, easily irritated and on edge, anger and resentment, desire to escape or run away, restlessness and anxiety, loss of objectivity and confusion, sense of being overwhelmed, difficulty making decisions, and lack of confidence and memory problems which for many lead to major medical problems later on in life. Finally, solve your problem in one or a few sessions, and there are no drugs and no side effects. Hypnosis gives you a universe of infinite possibilities. First, let me show you how your conscious and subconscious mind works. Then I'll show you the three simple steps to self-hypnosis. Next, you'll learn how to craft an effective hypnotic suggestion and how to write a goal contract with yourself to embed it deeply into your subconscious mind. And by the way, we use no crystal balls, no pendulums or golden watches, no candles, and no spinning spirals. Okay, now about your mind, conscious and subconscious. How the two different parts of your mind work. Your conscious mind is your reasoning mind. It makes decisions, and it is the part of your mind that chooses. Subconscious mind is independent of conscious control. It regulates your heart, digestion, circulation, all body functions. Imagine your subconscious mind is like a bed of soil. It accepts any kind of seed, good or bad. Now, you've got to be careful because your subconscious mind has big ears, so you need to watch what you tell it. You need to know one basic fact, and that is this. Your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between fact and fiction. Okay, the three steps to self-hypnosis. And successful self-hypnosis relies on all three things. But first, the secret I mentioned, you don't need to acquire it. You already possess it. You do need, however, to learn how to use it, and it applies to all areas of your life. Okay, first, relaxation. Always give yourself permission to let go of all awareness of your body and just let the gentle flow of spring water wash all thought from your mind. In self-hypnosis, remember that relaxation doesn't mean taking a nap. It means becoming deliberately relaxed in mind and body, escaping momentarily from the cares of the day to create the receptive state necessary for auto-suggestion. Next, follow these relaxation techniques. First, set up each practice session this way. Select a comfortable chair in which you are at ease. Remove or loosen any tight clothing, neckties, belts, etc. Turn off radios and televisions and take your phone off the hook. If you have pets, put them in another room. Place both feet on the floor or on a footrest. Uncross your legs and arms. Look at the clock. Know what time it is and then imagine that it's 15 minutes later. For example, if you've chosen to practice at 6, imagine the time is 6.15. With repeated practice, you will find yourself opening your eyes at the conclusion of your session at the exact time you imagine. Begin every session with three deep breaths. And as you exhale, think silently and inwardly, I am relaxing. Close your eyes and feel yourself relaxing from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. Think to yourself, any and all outside noises, sounds, and confusions only cause me to go deeper and deeper into this wonderful creative state of deep relaxation. Concentrate on your toes. Feel a tingling sensation there and imagine the sensation spreading across the bottom of your feet and up your legs to your completely enveloped in your entire body. Take your time. Feel this wonderful feeling of relaxation spreading slowly up your back and around to your abdominal muscles, up your chest to your neck and scalp and eyelids, and then to your facial muscles and your entire head. You will now feel and recognize that you are completely bathed in a feeling of relaxation.
As you communicate with yourself, use your own thoughts and words as often as possible, but be sure to include the words deep, relaxed, and relaxation. After you relax, don't be concerned with whether or not you're hypnotizing yourself. Simply follow through with the relaxation procedure. If you feel a bit drowsy, that's fine. It's perfectly okay. The first, second one is imagination. Now, while you're good and relaxed, let's move to the next step. In your daily sessions to help you develop your imagination, practice producing these sensations. After approximately five to ten minutes of relaxation, take two to three minutes to feel heavy. Imagine that you're made of lead or weighted down by a G-force or the G-forces in a climbing jet. Next, take two to three minutes to feel light. Imagine how it would feel to be an astronaut floating in weightlessness or feel yourself floating right off the chair and into the air. Next, take two to three minutes to feel warm. Imagine yourself in a sauna or a steam room. Or feel the sun on a very hot day. Relate to an experience you've had. Your memory and imagination will do the rest. Now, take two to three minutes to feel cool. Imagine yourself in the snow or in a cold swimming pool. Again, relate to physical sensations you've previously experienced. To conclude your practice session, always include a post-hypnotic suggestion such as, each time I hypnotize myself, I feel more relaxed easily and freely. I look forward to practicing every day because I enjoy it. Then to bring yourself back to a normal state of mind, count from one to six using a phrase with each number. For instance, I am feeling wonderful. I feel energized and vital. I feel light, elevated, and exceptionally clear-headed. I am alert and feeling refreshed. I readily accept and respond to my own suggestions. I enjoy practicing daily. And I am wide awake, wide awake, feeling wonderful in every way. Now, bring forth in the theater screen of your mind the thought vividly viewing the end results of your intentions, your goals, your desires, and dreams. Vividly see exactly what it is you want. Now, the next one is repetition. That which we believe and affirm over and over will be given to us always. That is the law of mind. Repetition, well, it takes some time to see results of self-hypnosis. But with repetition, and only with repetition, the mind will internalize suggestions and reshape behaviors and attitudes. Advertisers know and rely on this principle. How many commercials do you see just once? In constructing a suggestion, always think in the term of the end results. Tell yourself what you do want, not what you don't want, and always think in the first person present tense, I am. Example, I am a competent and well-educated speaker. I am knowledgeable and confident when speaking to groups of people. I am comfortable when speaking to a large group of people. And I am at ease, and I can see the end result benefits my audience receives from my presentations. Now, the power of goals. Are your intentions? Write a goal contract. Once you know how to guide your subconscious with powerful hypnotic suggestions, you need to give it a road map. You need to give it a road map in your career, finance, health, family, relationships, social life, spiritual and personal growth. Let's take career for example. Your goal may be to overcome my fear of speaking to in front of groups. Give yourself a time frame, six months from today, which may be, or will be, May 1st. How are you going to do it? Well, you may join Toastmasters, volunteer to host and speak at a community event, hire a hypnotherapist and a success coach to help you overcome your irrational thinking. And the result you want is to be your intention. Now, put yourself into self-hypnosis. Let it work for you. Self-hypnosis can take you from where you are to where you want to be and increase and create the life you dreamed of. You can start achieving anything you want, anything you set your mind on. And the solution is right here, right now. I have two life-changing personal programs, Success Coaching Through Hypnosis and my new three-day self-hypnosis certification course, personalized and one-on-one -on -one private sessions or in group, maximum of three people. The course will change your life. No matter what you have tried in the past, I will work with you to unlock the power and eliminate major fears, stress, anxiety, health and weight issues, low self-esteem and self-confidence, help you overcome anger, 
lack of money, performance, anxiety, and uncertainty. Let's face it, your happiness can't wait another second. You've waited too long to delay your dreams another minute. If this sounds familiar, I understand. Life is not fair. Achieve the results you want and succeed through self-hypnosis certification or through hypnosis and success coaching. Call me today. You deserve the best coaching and personalized, highly customized sessions that will give you a better life with greater happiness, more money, better health, and success in all areas of your life. Even if you're not sure about self-hypnosis or working with a success coach and a hypnotherapist because you've been told there's nothing but hocus-pocus, then call anyway for a free consultation and get the truth about the many thousands of people's lives that have incredible success stories. If you're like most people, you have big dreams and big plans for your life, but find yourself being held back by fear and rejection and phobias and stress and anxiety and a host of other issues. I hear you loud and clear.